this is Phil Wright. I am excited to come to you today with some pretty cool news. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the original release of my book, Not Without Mercy, The Black Death. Now, it's the title might throw you a little bit, but it's a book about a family that actually survived the Black Plague of 1348 in Bristol, England. Um, I'm also excited to let you know that a very dear friend of mine who is a very accomplished author who sold books in, I think, over 130 countries um, has read my book and has written a new foreword to my book. And his name is Michael Rush. You may know Michael Rush from some of the incredible books he, he's written, like A Remnant Shall Return. Oh, by the way, you can see that. There's a picture of Michael Rush. He's a great guy. So, A Remnant Shall Return. Revelation, The Vision of John the Divine. This is such a great book. And Daniel 11, all of the first three books of his that I just mentioned, they all talk about the prophecies dealing with the last days, the times that we live in. Um, Michael is such an incredible author. He takes the scripture and the prophecies and makes them so plain and easy to understand that you'll go, wow, these things are actually happening. And I want to tell you, they're happening right now. His most recent book is Delight in Plainness. This book literally just came out this week. And uh, Delight in Plainness is based on Nephi and Isaiah. And again, Michael Rush makes the complicated very easy to understand. So I'm excited to have uh, Michael Rush not only as a friend, but I'm excited that that he's written the foreword to my re-release 10th anniversary edition of my book, Not Without Mercy. So let me read to you what he said about the book. He said, I highly recommend Phil's book, Not Without Mercy. First, it is a story of faith and family that takes place during one of the world's darkest chapters, the Black Death. I believe that many of the challenges the Bjorn family faced in this book will parallel the challenges our own families will endure in the coming days of trial. Secondly, Phil's story is unique in that it is based on numerous dreams and visitations wherein the characters of his book appeared at his bedside and told him their stories firsthand. Phil later learned that these characters were his own family members who lived during the mid-1300s in Bristol, England. The story they told is very timely for our day and the desolating pestilence that has been foretold. Furthermore, this story demonstrates that the veil is thin and that hearts of the fathers have been turned towards the children. I believe in the administration of angels. Who would have a more vested interest in administering to us than our own family? Not Without Mercy is a wonderful testament that family bonds do not end in the grave. Michael B. Rush. Thank you, Michael. I, I sincerely appreciate um, your recommendation of my book, and I appreciate you writing the new foreword to my book. I don't normally talk about how things came about to write this book, because it's, it's, it's pretty sacred to me. Um, but as you read, as you listen to what Michael just said, obviously he kind of let the cat out of the bag. During the time I wrote this book, it took about two years to write it. It was my first book, and who in their right mind would write a book? Their first book especially about the Black Plague. And it's pretty lengthy. It's uh, over 450 pages or so. But I kept having these dreams. And the people, the characters in this book kept coming to me and telling me their story. And frankly, there were times when I would write a chapter, I'd be so excited, it'd be late at night actually, early in the morning and I would go to bed. And then they would come to me in my dreams and sometimes they'd say, no, 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 that's not how it happened. You need to rewrite this. And I did. So I love the book. It's a wonderful book. Um, I sold it in the United States, in Mexico, Central South America, and parts of Europe and Asia. So it's been a great book. Um, I'm so excited to re-release it. So thank you so much for taking a couple minutes um, to listen to me. 
I'm going to put the information right down here in the bottom of where you can find my book. Of course, you can get it on Amazon. You can get the Kindle version and the paperback. Uh, the paperback on Amazon is, I think, $21.95. However, if you go to my website, thestorytellercollection.com, I will be offering it at a special price of $18.99. So please take a moment, go to my website. Um, I'll also post Michael's review or forward on my website and order the book. And you can also get the Kindle version online with Amazon. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Until next time, take care.